again, boys and girls. I'm so glad you made it over here to the Story Corner. Today, our story is about Daniel and his friends. There's the picture. It's always fun to see the pictures. It was noontime in the city of Jerusalem. The temple school for boys had been dismissed. Daniel and his three special friends were hurrying home to lunch when suddenly a trumpet sounded. Tahee! 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 shrilled the trumpet. It was the noontime call to prayer. Three times a day, morning, noon, and night, a priest came out on the temple porch and blew on the ram's horn trumpet. Tahee! 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 It's time for prayers. Daniel turned about face toward the temple. His friends turned about face toward the temple. All the people of Jerusalem stopped whatever they were doing and faced toward the temple. With heads bowed, they prayed to the God of heaven. At home, Daniel's mother served pulse for lunch. Pulse is food like beans and vegetables, brown bread, berries and dates. Daniel liked pulse. Pulse would make him grow tall. Pulse would make him grow strong. Pulse would help him get good grades in school. Daniel and his three friends and all the people of Jerusalem felt safe in their city. For hadn't their city a high stone wall all around it? And were there not strong gates in the wall with a watchtower above each gate where watchmen kept watch day and night? If Daniel listened, he would hear the watchman call, First watch, all is well. And later, second watch, all is well. And still later, third watch, all is well. But one day, all was not well. The watchman hurried out of the watchtower. They blew a warning blast on the trumpet and shouted, An enemy approaches! Quickly the gates were shut and barred. Men mounted city walls. Boys climbed rooftops far away, so far that the soldiers and camels looked like a line of creeping, crawling bugs. Came the dread army, the feared army of Babylon. Closer, closer, closer came the army. The army of Babylon pitched camp near Jerusalem. The soldiers built great battering ram machines and pushed them up beside the wall. Crash, crash, crash. All day long the battering rams beat and battered the wall of Jerusalem. Crash, crash, crash. Finally, a, after many days, a part of the high stone wall gave way. The army of Babylon marched into Jerusalem. Some of the soldiers climbed the hill to the temple and took away the temple's golden vessels as the king of Babylon had commanded them to do. Some soldiers stood guard while other soldiers took men and boys prisoners. They took Daniel and his three friends. The army marched the prisoners toward Babylon. Soldiers on camels led the way. Then came the prisoners chained together. Next, donkeys bearing the golden vessels. Then more soldiers. For days and days, the prisoners marched across the hot, sandy desert. Daniel's sandals wore out. His friend's sandals wore out. The hot sand burned their feet. They were thirsty. They were tired. But on and on they had to march until they came to Babylon. The king of Babylon sat on his royal throne while soldiers paraded the prisoners before him. Said the king to the captain of the army, Choose boys from among the prisoners, goodly boys. Give them food from my table to eat and give them of my wine to drink. They shall go to school for three years to learn the wisdom of Babylon. Daniel and his three friends were chosen.
let's put Daniel and his friends here on the board, okay? Yes, Daniel and his three friends. And remember the king said that Prince Malzar was going to be the one to make sure that they had the food and the drink from the king's table? That evening, Daniel and his friends talked together. We cannot eat the king's food, said Daniel. It has been offered to idols, and besides, the king's food is not the best food for boys. Let's see. Let's put what the king had here on the table. That doesn't look like the best food for them, does it? teacher just spilled the, the wine. Okay. No, the king's food is not the best food for boys. Neither can we drink the king's wine. What shall we do? The boys ask one another. Then Daniel thought of a plan. Let's ask Melzar, he said, let's ask Melzar to give us pulse to eat and water to drink instead of the king's food and wine. It's a good plan, agreed the three friends. Daniel and his friends went to see Prince Melzar. They bowed politely, then asked for pulse and water instead of the king's food and wine. Melzar shook his head. No, if the king should see you looking thinner than the other boys and learn that I had given you pulse and water, he might, he might even cut off my head. Please try us for ten days, begged Daniel. So Melzar agreed to give them pulse and water for ten days. Then we shall see, he said. Okay, so let's take the king's food and wine off the table. And we're going to add the food that Daniel and his free, three friends asked for. All the vegetables and fruits and, and things like good hot cereal and oatmeal. And then just a nice cold pitcher of just water. Yes. Although Daniel and his friends were far from home and there was no sound of the ram's horn trumpet to remind them, they did not forget to pray morning, noon, and night. Just like our song. Morning, noon, and night, Daniel opened his window toward the temple back in Jerusalem and prayed to the God of heaven. He asked God to bless the pulse and water and to please let it make them strong so that Melzer might know that pulse and water were better for boys than the king's food and wine. There's Daniel praying. When the ten days were passed, Prince Melzar called all the boys before him. He looked at their faces. He felt their arms. He found that Daniel and his friends were fairer and fatter than the boys who had ate the king's food and drank the king's wine. So ever after, during the three years of school, Prince Melzar gave Daniel and his friends poles to eat and water to drink. One, two, three years went by. School was over for Daniel and his friends. They had grown taller. Had they grown wiser? Oh, what's going to happen next? Okay, so let's take Daniel and his friends off the board here. We're going to take our table of food down. We're going to see who they're going to go see next. Okay. Let's We're going to go to the We're going to go to the king's palace. Because that's where Daniel and his three friends are going to go. So let's get our palace all set up here. Okay. And who do you think was there? Yes, the king. The king was there sitting on his throne. And we're going to
going to put Daniel and his three friends here. Okay, there they all are. And there was other, other boys that had been going to school with them for three years as well there, okay? Okay, now let's see what our story says. Now that we went to the palace, okay, so had they grown wiser? The king himself would test them. Daniel and his friends, dressed in their clean clothes with their hairs combed and their sandals polished, stood before the king of Babylon. The king asked them question after question, and lo, the king found Daniel and his three friends ten times wiser than all the wise men in Babylon. Do you think Jesus had blessed? Yes, he had. Jesus had blessed them, and they had stood for the right, just like we've been talking about, being good Christian soldiers. Daniel and his friends were good Christian soldiers, and they had stood for what Jesus wanted them to do, and Jesus had blessed them so that they found favor with the king, and he'd helped them learn their schoolwork well. Do you know, boys and girls, Jesus will do that for each one of us every day. When we stand true for Jesus, Jesus will bless. Okay, so let's do our memory verse. Okay, it says, have you been learning it this week? I hope so. Those who honor me, I will honor. Okay, let's say that together. Those who honor me, I will honor. First Samuel 2.30. Okay. I bet we're going to learn more about Daniel next week in our lessons too, okay? So right now we're going to sing our goodbye song. Our Sabbath school is over and we are going to church. Jesus, thank you for the story of Daniel that helps us know that when we are true to what you ask us to do, Jesus, and we pray and ask for your help, that you will be right there with us and, and bless and guide just like you did for Daniel and his friends. And Jesus, we ask you to uh, guide us this coming week, keep us all safe, and bring us back to Sabbath school wherever we're at next Sabbath. In your name we pray, Jesus. Amen. Bye-bye.